Now looking at our assessment notes so far. So you can make this however you want to make it. Whatever makes sense for you is how you should do this. Now this is just a basic example of how I might take notes on an assessment. Now this is just one machine. You might be scanning against hundreds of machines sometimes, and that's okay. You just make the notes against the machines and what findings you have. So for example here, I've got this machine and it's all under this one tab. And we've got some Nmap results. And then on the Nmap results, we've got the different ports that I found open. I did leave off the RPCs, but we can see our Nmap full results here. We can see, okay, on 22, I found open SSH. On 80, here's some interesting items I may have had. You know, again, this is just from our notes. Looks familiar. And then I put in the Nikto scan under here. And on 139, I've got the Samba here. And this is just notes for us. Again, could anonymously connect to IPC with SMB client, but not admin. Your client is never going to see these. So make sure you make good notes for yourself, how you can understand it. And importantly, make sure that if somebody goes through here, they can also understand it because sometimes somebody else might need to go through your report or through your notes or somebody might be helping you write your report. And it's important to be clear and concise with what you're doing. Now I've got an exploitation tab here. We have not exploited anything yet, but I do have a findings tab here as well. So we've got a couple findings already. We've got this wonderful default test page and it's hard to see because I've got it on my screen that's blown up, but you saw it once and make sure that you have the IP address or the host name in your pictures. That's important. And then information disclosure here with the 404 page and we've got the server header information disclosure. Now these are both taken in green shot and a couple things to point out just for details. I've got borders added around these and I've highlighted where exactly the finding is. Okay, so it's best to point out because if these screenshots are going in a report, it's best to find out and just point out to the client exactly where it is, where they need to be looking. And again, make sure you have your identifier here if you can have it. And then here is a response from the website. And again, with the information disclosure. So that's just a quick example of how your notes should start to form and how they should look. And then we'll do another one after the initial exploitation to kind of show how we exploited this machine and how we might take some notes for the client as well. And then you'll get to see this all over again in the sample report when we cover report writing towards the end of the course. So that's it. Just a quick lesson just to make sure you're still keeping up with your notes. I'm going to harp on this throughout because it's very, very important. So I will catch you in the next videos, next little mini chapter on some additional scanning tools. And we'll get right into exploitation.